book. Let me make myself bigger for you guys. All right, so yesterday we stopped here. Um, we were talking about how the um, animals, the pony or the horse give birth to the fowl. Um, the cow gave birth to the cow. Um, here, the kitten gives birth to the kittens. The ewe gave birth to the sheep. And then here's the goat with her new uh, baby as well. So let's continue on reading. The robins are back and are busy building their nests. A wild duck is in the marsh marigolds. The rooster wakes everyone earlier in the morning. The geese are cranky. They must have laid an egg. The meadow mice are out looking around. The mad March hare, or as you, or as it looks like, rabbit, is hurrying in all directions. The ice on the pine has melted and there are willows. The horses have found a little grass under the last patches of snow. They lie down in the pale sunshine. You don't see that often if the ground is frozen. April, which is the month that we are in now, is a spring month. You can tell that spring is here by all the eggs. Eggs in the barn, in the fields, in the trees, under the eaves, everywhere. So it says here, the good old brown hen has been busy sitting on eggs for 21 days. That's a long time. Now her baby chicks are hatching. It must be hard to pick your way out of an egg, but the chicks are pretty and fluffy in no time. There they are. Let's count the chicks. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten baby chicks. The robins are already hatching eggs in their business like way. This silly goose has laid an egg in the middle of nowhere. She must be crazy. This big bird is laying her egg in a little bird's nest. She must be cuckoo. Looks like she can barely fit in the nest. This little bird is feeding her babies. She must wonder why one baby is so big. It looks like this should be this mom's baby. This, this little bird here. Here's a basket of colored eggs. Among the flowers, no one has found it yet. How many of you all um, on Sunday got a lot of eggs for Easter and a lot of candy? All right, here it says dogs steal eggs when they can find them and carry them away. Perhaps dogs make nests too. Can a dog make a nest, you guys? No, they can't. All right. May days are warm. The animals are uncomfortable with their heavy coat. They will all be cooler without them. Even the chicks molt. All right, so let's look at that word molt. So that word molt, do you guys remember from yesterday what the word molt is? So basically, molt is when the chickens shed their old feathers. So in our book, that's what the chickens are doing here. They are molting. All right, let's continue reading. Everyone gets a haircut one way or another. The woolly sheep are shorn. Uh -oh. They've gotten their wool sheared. The black dog... Or the black sheep dog is shorn at the same time. Not a very fancy thing. 
Okay, guys. Trying to get it to where we can see. All right. She will scarcely be recognizable without her long curls, but they will grow back in time for winter and she will look herself again. The rooster won't be himself until he can parade his fine tail feathers again. So there's the rooster. That's him being shorn. And then the chicken has molted. So they have lost their feathers. It says here, even though it's cool and comfortable, it must be embarrassing to lose all your clothes all at once. Cats don't need clipping. They shed their coats on other people's clothes and furniture. I don't know about you guys, but the way that my dog is, I don't have a cat, but I do have a dog. And my dog loves to leave his hair on the couch and on me. And it's kind of annoying sometimes. 